Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the common issue you may be having on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with the kernel security check failure message on your computer. So this error can typically occur if you're having issues with your Windows kernel. There's a few different ways on how to hopefully resolve this problem. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I do want to point out is there's a chance that there's a hardware issue with your hard drive, in which case there's really no software fix that's really going to fix it. You're probably already on borrowed time with that, so you might want to consider replacing it, upgrading it to an SSD or another hard drive. Hard drive space is not very expensive nowadays. It's not what it was 10 or 20 years ago. Just keep that in mind, and once we've addressed that, we can go into a couple other troubleshooting methods here. So open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, let's say command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video. First one is a DISM scan. Go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. This will take a few minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's concluded, go ahead and copy and paste the next command in the description of my video. This is the system file checker utility scan. And then again, go up top right, right click on the top bar, select that and paste that in, run that as well. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.